So this will be the final video of the um, fiscal policy, the fourth and final video of the fiscal policy uh, mini-series, um, which is Unit 2.4 of the IB Macroeconomic Syllabus. In this video, I'm going to conduct an evaluation of fiscal policy. So I'm going to look at its advantages and disadvantages, um, strengths and weaknesses or limitations. Let's um, get started. So how effective is fiscal policy? Well, um, when you talk about effectiveness or when you evaluate, you look at strengths as well as weaknesses, um, uh, advantages as well as limitations. So one strength of fiscal policy is its ability to target sectors of the economy. The government can target its spending as well as its tax increases or tax cuts on specific sectors, um, whether it's education or healthcare, or maybe sectors that are polluting too much, the government can increase the tax rate on them and so on. So there is this ability to target specific sectors. Um, the second strength or advantage is its direct impact on aggregate demand. An expansionary fiscal policy will directly increase aggregate demand as much as a contractionary fiscal policy will directly decrease aggregate demand. Um, its third strength is its effectiveness of promoting economic activity in a recession. Uh, there are lots of um, examples, like say, for example, during the Great Depression, when there is um, a big recession or a depression, uh, fiscal policy is very effective. An expansionary fiscal policy um, where the government will cut taxes and increase government spending and employ people and uh, build infrastructure and so on, this can be very effective in, in giving the economy a boost during a recession, promoting economic activity. These are um, some strengths or some advantages or some good things about fiscal policy and how it is effective. However, there are certain limitations or um, weaknesses or disadvantages of fiscal policy. The first one is time lags. There are three types of um, time lags. First of all is recognition. It takes time to recognize that something's not right and that we need to use fiscal policy to fix it. Number two, administrative um, time lags. It takes time to put together a plan and then pass it through parliament or congress. Um, the government can't just change fiscal policy at whim. It has to go through um, parliament or congress, has to be approved. And number three, there are impact time lags. Assume you do recognize that something's not right and you pass the law through Congress or through Parliament and you have um, adopted the expansionary or, or contractionary fiscal policy that is required. Well, it takes time for this to make an impact. So there are time lags when it comes to fiscal policy. There are also political constraints. Um, okay? um, governments sometimes will fear raising taxes too much. Uh, or maybe increasing government spending too much and hence borrowing too much, which might um, upset people as it adds to the um, national debt. Uh, also, um, different political parties have different objectives. So there's always political constraints. Um, presidents and prime ministers want to be re-elected, so they might be afraid um, to, take, uh, to adopt a contractionary fiscal policy. There's also the risk of crowding out. If the government expands fiscal policy too much and borrows too much, this will raise interest rates. And hence, it will make it more difficult for private investors to borrow from the markets. Uh, the last limitation is fiscal policy's inability to deal with supply-side causes of instability. If there are supply-side causes of instability, like um, short-term supply-side shocks, fiscal policy is not always able to deal with these causes of instability. So if there's, for example, a supply side shock, um, there's a supply shock and due to a rise in global oil prices, for example, or a drop in the exchange rate, um, all of these things will cause cost push inflation. This is um, a supply side cause of instability and fiscal policy doesn't always know how to deal with these um, supply side causes of instability. So we've seen that there are some strengths and, and good things about using fiscal policy and some things, uh, some arguments that can be used for its effectiveness, but there are also some limitations. Um, and it's not like a one size fits all policy. It will really depend on the context and on the situation. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.